Hi guys, today I'm going to show you what's inside of this video. XHData D-806-808 I just tear this down. Okay. So uh, motherboard here, MCU inside, speaker. Here is a functional board. Okay, let's focus on the functional board. Here, the heart of this uh, functional board, the DSP radio chipset. It's a um, Silicon Lab SI4735 model. It can support AM, FM, shortwave, and the single sideband of the shortwave, a full function DSP radio chip. And uh, here, the mini USB charging port. Here is a power charging management chip. The model is uh, 4056E. So the power go into this chip and then to do the charging on the lithium battery. The interesting thing is here. This uh, is the uh, inductance coil, this uh, adjustment capacitor, and here, variable. So these things worked as the short wheel filter for the short wheel band. We know that this radio have a very good performance on the short wheel. I mean, compared with the Texan PL330, the short wheel performance of um, access data is better than the Texan. These two radio use the same Silicon Lab uh, DSP chip, but this guy the performance is better. It's just because the short wave signal, when go inside the radio, it go to this uh, filter first, and then go to this uh, FET amplifier, and then go to the short wave signal input pin of this DSP chip. So it have a better performance. For the Texan PL330, doesn't have this filter design. Okay, we know this radio can support the higher band, but we know the Silicon Lab, this chip doesn't support that. How it did that is just because of this chip. This chip, the model is um, CD3758. It's a FM front end chip. Usually it's used for the FM radio, but this guy used in this radio is for is used for the higher band. We know the higher band frequency is around 130 megahertz. So this chip work on the higher band frequency and the IF signal output from uh, this chip is not go to the FM discriminator, uh, which work as the FM radio. Because we know for the higher band is not the FM mode, it's AM mode. So uh, how? It, the IF signal from this chip is directly go to the short wave input signal pin on this DSP radio. We know that the short wave is working on the uh, AM mode. So these two chip work together that can demodulate the higher band signal. Okay, this chip is the PLL chip um, to do the to control this uh, I band chip to do the digital control. Okay, here this guy. This is another um, inductance coil. What this for? Is uh, work with this. Uh, um, resist uh, these uh, transistors and uh, the diode here work as a DC-DC converter because the variode here need a more higher voltage than the lithium battery can provide. So the DC-DC converter here can provide to this uh, variode higher voltage that it needs to control the frequency of this filter. So here 
is uh, audio amplifier chip. The module is a CS4863. It's a dual channel AB audio amplifier. So the output can go to the earphone or the speaker. Uh, yeah, I forgot that. This PLL chip, the module is FS8303 for the PLL to work in the airband. Okay, here is the loop stick, uh, a, um, medium wave and uh, long wave antenna. So yeah, that's um, all for this uh, inside of this video. Thanks for watching.